Is being in a trance good or bad? This is one of the questions I received after my video last week talking about uh, entering a trance state through your normal course of the day. And the answer really is that it depends. So if you're using that trans state to your advantage and helping you achieve a goal or move forward in the direction that you want to move forward, then it can definitely be a good thing and used to your advantage. If you're using that trans state to, you know, reflect on negative circumstances or negative thought patterns or something that moves you away from a goal, then it's probably not a good state for you to be in without additional practice. So if you're someone who does fall into a trans state easily, that means that you are a very likely candidate for hypnosis and even self-hypnosis. So it means that your brain is able to separate the conscious thought from the subconscious thought and do two different things at once. And because your brain is able to do that, you can do this on purpose and get in a trance state and then make suggestions that help you to move the direction that you want to go. So one way that you could use this is in self-hypnosis. And first you would want to start by practicing to get in that trance state on purpose and uh, know ahead of time what sort of suggestions you want to make to yourself so that when you do re reach this relaxed trans state where you can make suggestions to yourself that you then have prepared things that you want to think about that help move you to, towards a specific goal. For example, from this trans state, you can use a neuro-linguistic programming technique like disassociation to help you, help you to overcome the fear of stage fright or public speaking. So while you're in a trans state, picture yourself walking on stage. When you start to feel the anxiety or the fear that you would normally feel in that situation, disassociate yourself, meaning pull yourself out of the body that you're in taking the next step and instead sit in the audience and watch yourself. When you disconnect and watch yourself as a third party, you disconnect from the emotion of the situation. Now, if you're enjoying it from the audience and reacting as if you want to react with joy or pleasure at the performance, then you can separate the emotional part of anxiety from the performance and instead suggest that there's a disconnected but joyful emotion that you can have instead. So this is just one little way that you can use this trans state to your benefit uh, in sort of a um, self-hypnosis technique com combined with NLP or neuro-linguistic programming. But if you are able to get in trans quite easily, this can be a major thing that you can start to use to improve you know, anything in your life, any circumstance that you want to change. So I hope this tip is helpful and stay tuned. We're going to cover a few more things like this over the coming weeks. Have a great day.